We are going to perform a one-point depressurization test showing you how to set up the DG700, the blower door fan, and take a reading. More information about this test and others is covered extensively in the manual. Turn on the gauge by pressing the on-off button. Press the mode button twice to put the gauge into the PRFL at 50 mode. In this specialized test mode, channel A is used to measure building pressure, while channel B is used to display estimated building leakage at a test pressure of 50 pascals, or CFM50. The leakage estimate shown on channel B is determined by mathematically adjusting the actual airflow from the blower door fan to a test pressure of 50 pascals, using the real-time channel A building pressure reading and a can't reach 50 factor. In order for the DG700 to properly display fan flow, you need to input the blower door fan model and selected flow ring into the gauge. Check and adjust if necessary the selected test device and configuration shown in the upper part of the gauge display to match the fan and flow ring used in your test. You'll see in the upper left hand corner the device window which shows BD3. This is the default setting. To change the type of fan you are using, press the device button until the correct fan is selected. When conducting a blower door test, we want to measure the change in building pressure caused by air flowing through the blower door fan. In order to measure this change accurately, we need to account for any existing pressures on the building caused by stack, wind, and other driving forces. This existing building pressure is called the baseline building pressure. The DG700 has a built-in baseline measurement procedure which allows the user to quickly measure and record the baseline pressure on channel A and then display the baseline adjusted pressure. This feature makes it possible to zero out the baseline building pressure on channel A and display the actual change in building pressure caused by the blower door fan. With the fan sealed off, begin a baseline building pressure reading from channel A by pressing the baseline button. The word baseline will begin to flash in the channel A display, indicating that the baseline feature has been initiated. Press start to start the baseline measurement. During a baseline measurement, channel A will display a long-term average baseline pressure reading, while channel B is used as a timer in seconds to show the elapsed measurement time. When you're satisfied with the baseline measurement, press the enter button to accept and enter the baseline reading into the gauge. The channel A display will now show an adjust icon to indicate that it's displaying a baseline adjusted building pressure value. Note that once a baseline measurement has been taken and entered into the gauge, a new baseline measurement procedure can be initiated by again pressing the baseline button. Remove the no-flow plate from the blower door fan and install the flow ring which you think best matches the needed fan flow. Don't worry if you guess wrong and start the test with the incorrect flow ring. You can change the fan configuration during the test procedure. Once the fan is selected, the ring configuration of the fan is selected by pressing the config button. The default setting is open. Press the config button until the ring displayed in the upper right hand corner of the display matches the ring on the fan. Also be sure that channel B is showing the proper airflow units for your test. Units can be changed by pressing the Units button. Turn on the fan for an initial inspection. Turn on the blower door fan by slowly turning the fan controller clockwise. As the fan speed increases, the building depressurization displayed on channel A should also increase. As you increase the fan speed, you will be increasing the pressure difference between the building and outside, resulting in increased pressure exerted on the aluminum door frame installed in the door opening. If you didn't properly install the door frame, the frame may pop out of the doorway at higher building pressures. If this happens, simply reinstall the frame more securely. When installed properly, the frame will easily stay in place during the entire test procedure. We're ready to make the final adjustments to the fan speed. Continue to increase the fan speed until the building depressurization shown on channel A is between negative 45 and negative 55 pascals. Just get close to the target pressure and make your measurement. As long as you're using the PRFL at 50 mode and the test pressure displayed on channel A is within 5 pascals of the minus 50 pascal target pressure, any errors introduced by estimating the leakage on channel B will typically be very small, usually less than 1%. 
Channel B will now display the one-point CFM50 leakage estimate. If the leakage estimate is fluctuating more than desired, try changing the time averaging setting on the gauge by pressing the time average button and choosing the 5 second, 10 second, or long term averaging period. Once you're satisfied with the reading, press the hold key on the gauge to temporarily freeze the display. Record the CFM50 test reading. Turn off the fan. Press the hold key again to unfreeze the gauge display. Whenever dashes or low appears on channel B in the PRFL at 50 mode, the DG700 cannot calculate a reliable leakage estimate. The messages of dashes and low appear on channel B under the following three conditions. Dashes are continuously displayed when the building test pressure from channel A is below a minimum value of 10 pascals. Estimating leakage results when the test pressure is below this value may result in unacceptably large errors. If possible, install a larger flow ring or remove the flow rings to generate more fan flow. Low is continuously displayed when there is too low of a building pressure from the test device. Low alternates with a flow reading when the airflow reading through the device is unreliable, meaning you're trying to measure a flow outside of the calibrated range of the test device in its current configuration. If possible, you should change the test device configuration to match the flow rate being measured, either install a flow ring or a smaller flow ring. Beginning in June 2007, a cruise control feature has been added to the DG700, which allows you to automatically control the blower door fan to maintain a constant 75 pascal, 50 pascal, 25 pascal, or 0 pascal building pressure without having the gauge connected to a computer. In order to use the cruise control feature, you'll need the following three items a cruise-compatible DG700 gauge. Your DG700 is compatible with cruise control if the config, clear, start, and enter keys have additional red lettering below the main black script. A blower door fan speed controller with a 3.5 mm communication jack on the side of the controller box, which has been standard equipment since September 2004 and a fan control cable to connect the DG700 fan control jack to the speed controller communication jack. Cruise Control uses the DG700's fan control feature to continuously adjust the blower door fan to maintain a constant cruise target pressure on channel A of the gauge. Before starting cruise, the blower door and DG700 should be completely set up. If you wish to cruise with a baseline pressure adjustment applied to channel A, simply use the baseline feature first before beginning cruise. You will also need to install the fan control cable and turn the blower door speed control knob to the just on position where the controller is on but the blower door fan is not turning in order to allow the DG700 to control fan speed. When you're ready to begin cruise, press begin cruise to enter cruise setup. A cruise target pressure will appear in the channel A display and the cruise icon will flash. The flashing cruise icon indicates the gauge is ready to begin cruising but is not yet controlling the fan. If you are in the PRFL or PRPR modes, you may change the cruise target pressure at this point by pressing the cruise target button. Note, you cannot change the cruise target pressure when in the PRFL at 50 and PRFL at 25 modes. Press start to instruct the DG700 to begin ramping up the fan to achieve the target pressure on channel A. The fan will slowly start increasing speed until the pressure reading on channel A matches the cruise target pressure. The fan will simply run at full speed if the target pressure cannot be achieved. Whenever the DG700 is calling for full fan speed, the gauge will emit a beeping sound. Press stop fan to turn off the fan when you are done cruising or you need to change the blower door fan flow rings. When the fan is turned off by pressing stop fan, the DG700 returns to the cruise setup state, in other words the cruise icon is flashing and a cruise target pressure is displayed on channel A. You may restart cruise again by pressing start fan or exit the cruise feature altogether by pressing the clear button. Note. If you need to change the configuration setting on the gauge because you've changed flow rings, you'll need to exit cruise before using the config button to change the selected flow ring.
The fan will also be stopped while cruising under the following circumstances. If channel A registers a pressure of 100 pascals or more, the fan will automatically be shut down and the gauge will revert back to the cruise setup state. The DG700's auto off feature will shut down the gauge and turn off the fan after two hours of runtime if no buttons are pressed during that time. We hope this information has been useful to you. More information can always be found by visiting the Energy Conservatory website or by calling our office. Thank you.